easy to handle, effective. The handgun is the ideal weapon for both defensive and offensive close quarter man-to-man -man combat fighting. Easily carried at the side, it's practically a part of you. In spite of the weapon's light weight and compactness, a bullet smashing through only one of these white pine boards would be enough to seriously wound a man. Before handguns can be fired properly, men must first complete basic training with the pistol and revolver on a standard range. Here, trigger squeeze, sighting and aiming, and other fixed and correct firing habits are learned. This basic training, however, doesn't prepare a man to get the most out of his weapon in combat. For here on the range, he's firing under ideal conditions at stationary targets. Being a good shot on a range doesn't mean that a man will be the same good shot when the target is moving or firing back at him. To get the maximum out of his gun, a man must learn to fire quickly and instinctively. Just as a rifleman graduates from the practice range to combat firing, the man armed with the handgun must have the same kind of advanced training with his weapon. A course in combat or practical firing has been designed to give that needed advanced training. As in this demonstration, Men learn to shoot quickly and accurately from any one of the three basic firing positions. From the prone position, they learn to score hits on a pair of bobbing targets at over 50 yards. Moving up to 25 yards and assuming the kneeling position, they'll be able to do the same thing. In combat firing, a two-shot burst gives a dispersion of six to eight inches on the target, assuring at least one hit. When a moment's delay may cost a life, combat firing trains men to fire instinctively from the standing position, pointing the gun as if it were a finger. To change the direction of fire quickly while at a standstill, just pivot on either foot. When moving forward, it may become necessary to change direction and fire from a walk if the target suddenly appears on the flank. This is combat firing, quick, automatic, and accurate. Now let's follow a small group of men who've just finished basic training with the pistol as they're taken through a course in combat firing. Safety precautions apply here too. The first thing you always do is inspect and clear your piece. When that's been done, you're ready to proceed. One of the most important things in combat firing is the correct grip on the gun stock. So we'll take that up first. Fit the pistol in the crotch of the hand and take a firm, tight grip on the weapon. The barrel should be in direct alignment with the forearm. So if you pointed your finger instead of the gun, it would be right on the target. If the weapon is held a little to the right or to the left in the hand, the barrel will not line up with the forearm and shots will miss. It should never be this way. For accurate shooting, the gun must be in line with the forearm. Remember to take and keep a tight, firm grip on the gun stock. A loose grip will allow the weapon to twist in your hand on recoil. Keep practicing this rigid grip until it's done automatically. That's the way you'll have to do it when it really counts. Your use of handguns probably won't be limited to the pistol. Let's have a look at one of the revolvers used by the Army. The revolver is a natural pointing gun. When placed in the hand, it is directly on the target. pistol, however, due to its stock design, requires a slight upward cocking of the wrist to bring it in line with the target. After a little practice, this adjustment will become instinctive. Greater accuracy with either the pistol or the revolver can be obtained by using a two-handed grip. Simply hold the gun firmly with the right hand. Place the butt in the palm of the left hand and close the fingers around it. The two-handed grip can also be reversed for left-handed shooters. In such cases, the gun is held in the left hand, and the right hand serves as the support. 
The two-handed grip is used in both the prone and kneeling positions. It provides a very comfortable, steady shooting platform and will give the maximum number of hits on the target. Now let's watch these men as they practice. The mistakes they make are natural, and you can profit by their errors. Later, there will be several other opportunities to apply the two-handed grip in the prone and kneeling positions. After the one- and two-handed grips have been mastered, the group is introduced to the three basic firing positions. First, prone. Although it takes the longest to assume, it's the steadiest to fire from. And in this position, the body presents the smallest target to the enemy. As prone is best of the three basic firing positions for steady and accurate long-range firing, it should be practiced until it can be assumed quickly and easily. There's no set or definite way to get into it as to body angle, legs, or heels. Just lie as flat as the terrain will permit with the gun extended. When in the prone position, additional time should be spent practicing the two-handed grip. For if the gun is not held correctly, you won't hit the target no matter how steady the firing position. When your instructor is satisfied with your proficiency in the basic prone position, he may allow you to practice more spectacular maneuvers. A neat trick is rolling out of place and into better cover after each burst of shots. This serves to confuse the enemy and keeps him from guessing your location. The second basic position in combat firing is kneeling. Like prone, kneeling offers a relatively small target and at the same time is very steady. It's easy to get into. Just drop down on one knee and extend the gun. You can fire while down on either knee as long as you're well balanced. With practice and remembering to use a tight, firm, two-handed grip, you'll soon be able to throw your shots right where you want them.